the thrill of it all. <laughs> tell me, tell me, Fairy God, babe. Welcome to the Brill of It All with me, Diane Brill. Well, you know, I was watching the show on Netflix, The Crown. Now, The Crown is something that normally I wouldn't watch. But when I watched the first episode, just like that on a Sunday, I was like, oh my God, the show is terrific. And when I was watching it, I thought, yeah, I mean, Princess Margaret, she's really the one that you go for. The queen is interesting, but you kind of get over her pretty quickly. And you're into Princess Margaret because she's like the wild one. And then I realized, wait, I actually have a real Princess Margaret story. I was hanging out at that time with a, an old time fabulous movie star called Raquel Welch. And this was back in the days of like Danceteria, Area, and Limelight. Raquel was involved in doing a party inviting the Americans. So they were American guests and the British guests. The British guests were like 100 people, all royals or spin-offs of royals or whatever, they loved that stuff. And the Americans were supposed to be movie stars, glamorous people, whatever. So my best friend Jenna said, Raquel is organizing which Americans are going. You have to like go push her to make sure that we go to this party because the party was in Mystique. Now Colin Tennant was actually the founder and the owner of the island Mystique. And he started the Mystique. He took this island, which was basically nothing. He bought it and turned it into this royal amazing thing. And he was the one who was having this birthday. So being invited to a party like this, is maybe a once in a lifetime thing. There are going to be events every single night around the island, and here we are on these mega yachts going into this event. Princess Margaret is the, is the groovy one, but she also was the resident royal. So there are a lot of rules around a resi resident royal. For instance, we had one of the dinners on one of the nights. I went up to go to the ladies' room to part of my nose, and two people sitting next to me actually grabbed me by my shoulders and pushed me back down saying, not until she goes. Meaning, don't worry, she just had her fourth gin and tonic, she'll be going pretty soon. After that, we went to a party every night leading up to the most incredible night. And we had gorgeous saris covered in gold thread and diamonds and jewels and everybody was fabulous. So Princess Margaret, we'd run into her earlier on the beach and Raquel Welch, Welch and I were lying on the beach, you know, horizontally having a great time and all of a sudden we see this group of people with older Princess Margaret with all these guys with umbrellas above her and she's walking in this bathing suit like must have been from the 1940s. So all of a sudden they stop, she turns her head away and a group of people come our way and ask us to please cover up because the princess is walking on the beach. So Raquel and I scamper to put something over our breasts that were lounging, we were lounging in the sun and getting beautifully tanned all over. Then later, there was a party that night. And at that early part of the party, I met Princess Margaret. And she gave me a one of these and smiled and was very happy to meet me and actually quite cute and generous with me. I didn't see her until later on that evening. Now what happened is the party was amazing. The lighting, the stars, the glamour everywhere. But one toilet for the entire group of whatever, 200 people that were at this event in Mystique. One toilet room, one bathroom, one physical John, my friend, a very famous supermodel at the time, was sitting on the loo. We were chatting and fixing our mascara and adjusting our saris and what do you think of this? Should I move it over there and all of that stuff? And taking our time in the bathroom. When we hear, so we're thinking, one moment, we'll be a second, no problem. In the meantime, there's a line that's formed like from here to eternity of all the revelers who had to use the bathroom. So they came back again, knocking, all of a sudden, a lady in waiting, apparently, we found out later who she was, opened up the door and there was my friend sitting on the toilet and me like adjusting my outfit. And she said, I'm sorry, you'll have to clear the bathrooms now. The princess has to use the facilities. And they basically took her off the toilet. She pulled up her dress and I said, excuse me, and she's going to finish what she started. So my friend got nervous, she put all her clothes up and she ran out. And then I ran out and then the princess ran into the toilet and the lady in waiting shut the door. And I looked at the lady in waiting like, she looked at me, 
sort of below, beneath me, though she was quite short. She opened up her compact and she said, it had to be done. It had to be done. So I think the moral of the story is that there are times in life where something just has to be done. And I want you to please remember and apply. It had to be done.